Here's a little known trick on how to choose the perfect stocking hanger. It has nothing to do with weight. If you choose a heavy stocking hanger that just has this little hook on the front, it will not hold much weight. As soon as the weight of the stocking is heavier than this, it's gonna tip right over. But you want one that's got this sort of design. This lightweight thing right here will sit perfectly on the shelf and then the weight, because it goes down underneath like this, when you put weight on it here, it will hold so much more. I'm gonna hang this stocking on my new one. That one was empty. This one has inside of it a four pound bag of sugar. I'm gonna hang this on the hook. I can do this one handed. It's still there, no problem. It's not going anywhere. I can tug on it. This one, if I tug just a little bit, this starts to fall. Let's put, I don't know, a potato, cause it fits. If we drop a potato down in here, whoa. All right, it's starting to tip. I have two potatoes. Together this weighs about a pound and a half. So a pound and a half is making, yeah, made it fall right off, right? That doesn't work. But this guy, remember, I've got four pounds in there already. Now I'm gonna add this. This is a five pound weight from our weight set and I'm gonna slip this in here. I now have nine pounds in this stocking and it's not budging. I can still tug on it and it's all because of the angle. So see, the key is that this comes in and goes way under so you get this, like the pressure here is pulling straight through here and you can actually hang a ton of stuff on there. Now you tell me when you've put nine pounds in a little stocking in a hanger that's not even attached, right? It's the best.